A humanoid character is one that resembles a human, but has qualities that differ from a person you would see in the real world. In fantasy and sci-fi stories, these may be aliens, elves, or other beings that aren't actually or completely human. Humanoid character design is amazing because of how unique each character can look, not limited by having exclusively human traits. This video will help you get started with designing your own fantastical and creative characters. You can start with some basic head shapes. For the skin colors, a normal skin color works, as well as purple, blue, green, or just about any other color. Green and blue are used especially frequently, and normal skin tones tend to be given to elf or elf-like characters. For the eyes, normal human-like ones will do, and like the skin, you can make them pretty much whatever color you want. Slit pupils are pretty common as well, an example of this being Luca, and for more intimidating characters, you may want to make the whites of the eyes darker than the irises, and some, alien characters especially, will have big, dark-colored eyes with no irises or pupils. Next up is noses. Normal noses are pretty common, and you can also try just nostril slits. Voldemort style, or a more animal-like nose. There isn't a whole lot to do with the mouth, but you can be creative with the teeth. Give your character fangs, buck teeth, whatever floats your boat. Ears are fun. As usual, they can be normal human ears, or they could be more animal-like, for which you can look at animals for inspiration. Then there's elf ears, of course, and frilly dragon-type ears. There's not really any solid rules to follow here. Whatever looks good is good. Eyebrows and face markings are next, and the reason I'm including those together is because sometimes markings can replace eyebrows. For example, Ahsoka doesn't have eyebrows, Eyebrows, but she has markings above her eyes instead. Markings can be lighter or darker than the skin tone, and can be very prominent or very subtle, nearly identical to the main skin tone. Animal markings are a great reference for this. Not all humanoid characters have patterns and marks on their face, but it's really fun to experiment with, and when used, makes a character design extra unique. Just make sure that they aren't distracting too much from the eyes and other facial features. Following that is hair and horns. Some designs might not have horns, and some might only have horns. Once again, take a look at some animals to get ideas. Take what you learn from real life and put your own twist on it. How many horns, how they twist, where they come off of the head, is all up for you to decide. For hair, you can try different styles, but also different materials. Who says hair needs to be made out of hair? Feathers or scales, for example, can look like hair, despite not actually being hair. Some character designs won't have horns or hair, but I guess you could say extensions of their head to fill in that space. Star Wars does this a lot, mostly with these head tails they've given to some of their alien species. And last of all, you can accessorize and add details to your character to show what kind of person they are and what sort of world they might exist in. If they're a fighter, maybe give them some scars. And if you're doing a full body design, some armor. And if they're royalty, give them some jewelry. Maybe now you'd like to give your character an animal friend. If so, consider giving this video a watch. Thanks for watching!